Let's do this. Let's have the first baby of the occult baby challenge. This is freaking wild. Absolutely crazy. Jeez Louise, wouldn't be the Platt family if we didn't have some freaking chaos. Hi, hey, hello, my name is Sarah and happy Halloween. The spoopiest day of the year is finally here and today I am ridiculously excited to welcome you to the Sims 4 Occult Baby Challenge. We are starting a brand new challenge today with the Platt family who you may be familiar with if you've seen my 100 Baby Challenge. If you haven't seen the 100 Baby Challenge, totally fine. You don't actually need to, it's all good because we are starting brand new today with my sim Lily who wants to have lots of babies but all occult babies. The occult baby challenge was created by SimSav and has a whole list of different occult types, all sorts of different characters included in the occult baby challenge. I am ridiculously excited to get started this episode. This first episode is going to be jam packed. So with that being said, let's jump into the Sims 4 so that I can introduce you to Lily if you are not familiar with her and we can get started with having our first occult baby. Just while The Sims 4 is loading, I want to take a really quick look at this graphic that was made by Kimba Sprite, which sums up the Occult Baby Challenge, pretty much. So here we have the rules, create a human sim that is able to become pregnant. We have that with Lillian. Move your sim into any house, money cheats are allowed. I have already done that and I will show you the house in just a moment. Build a relationship with each occult and get pregnant with them. And then each child, each occult child that we have must reach level 5 in their occult skills to complete the occult and move out. So it is a different challenge to the 100 baby challenge. It is a little bit more relaxed, I feel like, than the 100 baby challenge. And then down here, we have all the different occult types that are a part of this challenge. So we've got aliens, Father Winter, the Flower Bunny, a ghost, the Grim Reaper, Island Elemental, Mermaid, Patchy, the Scarecrow, a Plant Sim, Servo, Spellcaster, the Tragic Clown, Vampire, Werewolf, and a Witch. Well, now specifically just take a look at the tragic clown today because that may or may not be why I am dressed as a clown myself today. I'm dressed as the second most iconic clown in my opinion, uh, Pennywise. Uh, the most iconic clown in my opinion is the tragic clown, Sunny as we knew him in The Sims 1. But in The Sims 4, the tragic clown is a little bit different. But I think for the first episode, because it's Halloween, I've dressed up as a clown. I want our first occult baby to be with the tragic clown. So then alongside all of these occult types that we see, we have like these skills that are listed. That's what the rules were talking about where each occult sim must reach level five in a specific skill before they can move out. So the child that we're going to have from the tragic clown is gonna need to reach level five in comedy and mischief before we're able to have them leave the Platt family home. All right, you guys, here we are in Oasis Springs, the new Platt family home. I did give you a very brief tour of this in my 100 Baby Challenge bonus video where I wrapped up the 100 Baby Challenge and I gave a brief introduction of what the Occult Baby Challenge is going to be. Like I said, though, you don't have to have watched my 100 Baby Challenge if you have not seen it. I'll just be telling you some things along the way, some lore about the Platt family. So this is the home. I've made a couple of changes to it, put a couple of things in our backyard a little bit more landscaping it is beautiful in there but let me introduce you to Lillian our sim who is going to be the matriarch of the occult baby challenge so here she is Lillian she is gorgeous she is actually the 100th baby of my 100 baby challenge she was the last child to be born in that challenge and I knew that I wanted the last child of my 100 baby challenge to carry on to be the matriarch of the occult baby challenge so she is the beginning of 
third generation Platt family. We had two generations of the Platt family before her that occurred in the 100 Baby Challenge. And then I'm just going to give you a really quick brief tour of this house. We do have a living space down here. We've got some basic skill building items over this side. Here I have this little wall that I want to have photos. You'll see there is already one photo on the wall here. It is of Lillian and Jess, who is Lillian's mum. Jess was the second matriarch of the 100 Baby Challenge. So she is still alive and she still exists within this universe. You'll be seeing Jess throughout this gameplay until Jess dies pretty much because she is an elder if you couldn't tell by her grey hair. But I do want to use this section of wall as a photo wall to capture photos, different photos of the kids of our occult baby challenge. Moving throughout the house through this set of double doors, we do have a little toddler Reno's room. It is slightly different to when you saw it in the tour in the 100 baby bonus video. I just changed some swatches of things to better suit the vibe. Through this little door here we do have a bathroom, totally fine, it's just a bathroom. And then moving on up you might be seeing a closet here because one thing in the 100 baby challenge that I did is I explored different ways to woohoo in The Sims 4. I had a lot of fun exploring different ways to woohoo and with Love Struck we actually got this like closet woohoo but it's different to like the wardrobe woohoo so I thought that we could use this closet woohoo for Lillian to woohoo with. Interesting! It's just a little bit of fun. Then through this door that is next to that closet, we have the infant's room. It is exactly the same as you saw it in the 100 Baby bonus video, mint green, beautiful vibes. Uh, Lillian is very pastel in her taste, which is why we've got a lot of pinks and a lot of greens. Then we swing around to this beautiful little spot here. This is going to be where we celebrate all of our birthday parties for the kids. I'm so excited to do that. And then we take a turn into our beautiful pastel pink kitchen. I love the vibe and then over the other side of the kitchen is the dining room absolutely so beautiful then upstairs we do have some bedrooms we do have some empty bedrooms we've got two empty bedrooms right here I want to be furnishing these bedrooms as we have kids because depending on their occult type I want to be furnishing the bedrooms based on their occult type so when we have a vampire I want to decorate it using the vampires pack we do have a bathroom here and another empty bedroom over here that has an ensuite bathroom down the other end of this hallway we then have what will be the newborn's room when the babies are born. This is where they're going to be living. And that actually leads into Lily's bedroom here. This is the main bedroom, Lily's room, and she has her own ensuite bathroom here as well. Then upstairs, we've got a whole lot of emptiness. The third floor here, this great big room I want to use as a skill building room. And there is the potential for another bedroom over here should I need it as well. So then we do have the backyard because I completely forgot to show you in the backyard, we actually have a studio space. This building off the side here is actually a studio. I have made some changes to what I've decided I wanted Lily to do with her life. At the end of the 100 Baby Challenge, I was setting her up to do crystal creation stuff and making jewelry. But then I was thinking about how big this house is. It is on the biggest lot in Oasis Springs. It is like the wealthiest lot you can live in. It's going to cost a lot to live here. And I don't know if we're going to be able to make enough money in order to sustain us living here. And we did recently get the Artist's Studio Kit. I can't remember what it's called. But the artist studio kit so I decided to change my mind and have this studio become a painting studio instead and Lily's gonna do some painting in order to make money. So this is the other side of the studio here. Just some art clutter. Very, very nice. With that being said, I think we're about ready to get started with the challenge. It is 7.53 a.m. on Tuesday. We are in autumn. I spent a couple of days in autumn getting Lillian set in and meeting her siblings because... With a new save file, I needed to introduce her to all of the people that are a part of her family. So everyone that you see here is family except for Jeffrey and Nancy Landgrab, obviously. They're not family. Even Keanu Reeves is family. Keanu is actually Lillian's stepdad. That was a part of the 100 Baby Challenge. If you haven't seen the 100 Baby Challenge, you don't have to, but it was a great fun time and I do recommend checking it out. But every single other person that we see here, even Caleb Vitor, is related to Lillian. Anyway, with that being said, we're going to get started. I don't want to waste much time because as we stand, Lillian has 24 days until she becomes an adult. It's totally fine. We've got plenty 
plenty of time and this challenge is a lot more relaxed than the 100 baby challenge but I would still like to get a wriggle on so like I mentioned we are going to be trying and hopefully and I'm praying and keeping my fingers crossed that we are actually going to be able to have the tragic clowns baby today so in order to summon the tragic clown we're gonna need to buy the tragic clowns painting tragic clown tragic clown what have they done to you another creation by angelo from his series perspectives on clowns this piece showcases the sad lives of clowns that fear that one balloon pop could end their careers it is rumored that angelo painted this in honor of his phobia of people wearing heavy makeup but we think he may have had a phobia for balloons as well the tragic clown painting we need to buy that i'm now going to need lily to come and view the tragic clown painting also i do just have to really quickly mention as we are starting this challenge the grim reapers rewards event is happening we're not playing through the reapers rewards event in this gameplay i'm playing through that separately but you can't get rid of this icon unfortunately so it's going to be there the entire time that the event is happening <laughs> Oh no, this painting fills Lillian with such a profound grief. Legend says that if you look hard enough, the grief will spill off the canvas and into the room. And that is so freaking true. And it is exactly what I want to have happen. So Lily, view the tragic clown painting again, please. I'm starting to get a little bit concerned. Oh wait, he's here. Oh, the tragic clown is here. I was about to say I'm getting concerned that there is no clown that has turned up, but there is indeed a clown. The thing about the tragic clown is the tragic clown is sad always and generally leaves you in a sad mood So we're in for a little bit of a challenge. I think so as I mentioned earlier on in the Sims 4 the tragic clown Isn't sunny the tragic clown the tragic clown can be any sim It could even be freaking Mortimer Goth I think I think that's how it works But we do have Ayaka Takahashi here who is the tragic clown uh, the thing is because Ayaka is a woman I'm going to need to make some changes to her so that she can actually make Lillian pregnant. So I think I'm going to have to add her to my family. Oh, goodness, Ayaka Takahashi, there you are. <laughs> She's very sad. Tears of a clown from the clothing item. Ayaka's world is that of a sad and tragic clown. The real world has tried to surround her with laughter, but gloom clouds this hapless soul. And that's because she's wearing the clown's outfit. So with that being said, the reason that I needed to add her to my family is because I need to modify her and create a sim for a minute. Wow. So this is what she looks like normally when she is not, in fact, being the tragic clown. Interesting. So I need to come to these settings though more details here underneath the gender selection because in gender uh, We have the option this sim will be able to become pregnant get others pregnant or neither I need to change this to get others pregnant because I need to do that. I think we're going to be in for a challenge because like I said, as long as she's wearing the clown suit She's gonna be sad. So in order to inspire a flirty mood to be able to even try and romance her to begin with is going to be interesting. But Lily, <laughs> Lily, why don't we start by making a joke? Because I mean, she's a clown, right? She's a clown. So we'll start by making a joke. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. I'm so sorry. Just in true typical Platt family universe fashion, we have someone running naked in the neighborhood. <laughs> we do have free love enabled. It is the first neighborhood action plan that is currently active for this lot. So funny. <laughs> Oh. Lily just got so excited about the thought of there being a clown, I reckon. Did you hear her? So Lily, now that she's started talking to the tragic clown, has a moodlet herself. Such tragedy from being near the tragic clown. Laugh, clown. Laugh at your tragedy. Laugh at the cloud that glooms your life or soul or dot dot dot. <laughs> That's what I meant. The tragic clown inspires sadness upon anyone who is close by. With that being said, this episode is going to be massively long, so I'm going to speed through through until we can start trying to get a flirty relationship happening. Five minutes later. All right, I think we're, we're gonna start planting the seeds of romance and see how we go. Okay, well that went well, didn't it? Hmm. Okay, something I never thought I'd see, the tragic clown doing like flirtatious movement. Interesting. As long as I can keep Lily's mood not being sad, I think we'll be okay. If I can keep her in this confident mood, which she's got for three hours, I think we'll be all right. 
Oh no, oh no, that went badly, that went badly. Okay, Ken, I can't do a smooth apology. I need to try and turn this around. Oh, Jasmine is here. Jasmine, go home. I don't want you here. Jasmine is our sister. I'm sorry, that was very mean of me to say, but Jasmine, no, Jasmine, I don't want you a part of this conversation. <laughs> oh my goodness, it's okay, Ayaka Takahashi. It's all right. I mean, I knew this was gonna be a challenge, okay? And it's only the beginning of the challenge challenge but it's gonna be fine it's gonna be fine another thing that I've thought of and I think I'm going to use this to my advantage is using social bunny throughout this challenge I think it's gonna be very very helpful to use social bunny in building relationships with our future potential love interests that are going to be a part of this challenge can I add a Yaka Takahashi to this list thank you very much because I can do flirty messages to Ayaka Takahashi. So we just sent one saying, I'm thinking you would be a great pillow fight partner, Ayaka. How about it? Very nice, Lily. I liked that. If I just spam sending messages, Ayaka, what's up, buddy? It should gain our relationship quite nicely. So I'm just going to spam some messages. And with that sound, you know what that means. It means that a romantic relationship is a beginning. Fantastic. Yeah, Social Bunny, this is kind of a hack. I am going to be using Social Bunny throughout this entire gameplay. <laughs> Look at that. Look at that. I haven't had to do anything. I've just had to spam flirty messages. Want to go to the ice cream stand? I'd like a scoop of you. <laughs> Let's give it a try. Look at this relationship. We are halfway through on both bars. Look at this. Let's give it a try. So let's have a look. Romance, physical intimacy. Let's try for a first kiss. It's happening. We're having a very first kiss with the tragic clown you do in fact love to see that beautiful social bunny to my freaking rescue i love it all right we could try for a baby in the photo booth but in the venue closet is what i want to do try for a baby in the venue closet let's do this let's have the first baby of the occult baby challenge oh i'm excited look i even put like the woohoo neon sign next to it so we know that's the woohoo closet <laughs> Well, okay. Wow. Oh. You guys don't have to worry. I know it's a venue closet, but we are in our house. It's totally fine. There is no one else here. Lily, I'm going to get you to come into this bathroom and we're going to take a pregnancy test. Hopefully, Lily is going to be pregnant. That would be fantastic. Yay, Lily, eating for two, the first pregnancy of the Occult Baby Challenge. Tell the tragic clown the fantastic news. Oh, yay. And with that being said, I'm actually going to remove Ayaka from the family now. There might be a few times throughout this challenge that I'm going to have to add the parents that we're going to have to the family in order to have it happen. So the 100 baby challenge was very strict in its rules in what you could do using cheats and not using cheats. There are going to be some times in the occult baby challenge where we're going to have to use cheats. Are you leaving? Okay. Goodbye. Also, our brother Xander's here. Xander is a spellcaster. Hi, Xander. You can come in if you like. We can hang out with Xander. Now that we are pregnant, I am totally freaking chill. <laughs> totally chill. Look at Lily's little pregnant belly in this outfit, this hot weather outfit. Absolutely iconic. You do love to see it. Oh, she's got an adoring sentiment for her brother. That is adorable. Let's have a look. So here we are about... 
I'm sorry, why does it say that Xander's spouse is Jasper? No, that's not the case. Ja oh no, do I need to go through the entire neighborhood and fix everyone's relationship to each other? I didn't think about that. I only thought about the fact of making everyone related to Lillian, but I didn't think about making everyone related to each other. Jasper is actually Xander's brother. I'm gonna have to change that. I'll change that in my personal time. It's number one on my priorities once I finish filming this episode of the Occult Baby Challenge. <laughs> Adoring sentiment. Lillian just wants the best for Xander and thinks he's so wonderful. I do! I love Xander! He was valedictorian in the 100 Baby Challenge. He's a spellcaster. I love this kid so much. I love all the kids of the 100 Baby Challenge. Aw, siblingly cuddle! I didn't even tell them to do that. They just did that on their own. And Xander's saying, I'm glad you don't think my my llama jokes are getting old. I feel like you just get me. It's because we're brother and sister and I love you so much, Xander. Aw, cute. I do have neighborhood stories enabled for this gameplay. It is very similar to the 100 Baby Challenge. I have the die in accidents turned on. So any of these people that we know could die in an accident. Tragically, we had that happen quite a lot in the 100 Baby Challenge. I also have start new romantic relationships and make new friends turned on. So that could be really, really nice as well. But as I was saying, the money situation, 390 simoleons. I don't know how much our bills are going to be. It is only Tuesday. We've got six days before bills will be coming in. But I just want to be making some money. While Lillian is in a good enough mood, let's come out and let us paint a classic painting in our beautiful art studio that I love. Thank you, Xander, for coming and hanging out at the house though pretty much any time that we have a plat family member to come to the household i would love to hang out except for jasmine when she interrupted before i was busy jasmine <laughs> i'll make it up to you later i promise so honestly we're pretty chill in this episode now until thursday thursday is harvest fest in game and i want to throw a big spooky party i generally have a big halloween party for the platt family i have a venue dedicated to having spooky parties i do this every single halloween with the platt family and the occult baby challenge is no different it's why i dressed up because i'm attending the party with them maybe i need to start thinking about who i'm gonna have a baby with next though let me just bring up the graphic again for a second and have a look at the graphic. I mean, the wishing well is a super easy one to do, but I want to save that one until a little bit later on in the challenge, I think. Maybe we could do a servo. The robots from Discover University, maybe we could do that. So maybe after we finish painting this painting, I need to go to Brightchester and see if I can find a servo hanging about. Beautiful Lily. Look at this painting. Absolutely stunning. So we're going to sell it for 231 simoleons. As she gets higher in the painting skill, uh, our paintings will become more valuable, which will be lovely. She's also gaining fame. Can you be nominated for an award for paintings? That's interesting because in the 100 Baby Challenge, both my matriarchs were nominated for awards. It would be pretty iconic if Lily could as well. But with that being said, let's travel with Miss Lily and let's go to Brightchester really quick. And I'm going to come to Larry's Lagoon because we do have the Foxbury Institute is where all the tech stuff happens. So let's come to Larry's Lagoon, taking me right back to my days with Oliver, another child of the 100 Baby Challenge, who went to university and I did a playthrough of Discover University with him. I'll link all of the 100 Baby stuff in the pinned comment down below if you want to go back and watch the 100 Baby Challenge catch up on the lore of the Platt family and all of the spin-offs that I did with the kids as well. Super fun, but I'm kind of hoping, kind of, kind of hoping that if I turn around, ah, no, there's like a meetup that happens here of all of the servo bots. The bot savants, I'm pretty sure they're called from memory. When do the bot savants meet? The bot savants. In three hours they meet. Okay, that's totally fine. Robot building. I'm hoping that there's going to be an already assembled robot there. We're going to find out in three hours though. 7 o'clock p.m. No worries. Well, Lily, let's go home and take care of some of your needs then and we'll come back. 
our first meal being prepared in our kitchen. It's going to be a garden salad. If you've watched The 100 Baby Challenge, you know how it goes. Garden salads all the way because we don't want to be doing anything to influence the gender of our babies. So you can influence the gender of babies by eating certain foods and listening to certain types of music. So in order to avoid that, garden salads and grilled cheese, they're staples of the Platt family. Lily's grown up eating those foods, so she's not changing her ways. <laughs> She's so beautiful, Lily. I absolutely adore her. The Platt family has great genetics and I'm super excited to see. We're gonna be having babies with some really iconic characters <laughs> in this challenge. I'm really excited for that. I'm gonna be very intrigued to see how genetics is gonna play a good part in that. We're gonna head back to the University of the Foxbury Institute. Bot Savant's member, okay. You're an elder, Francine, fantastic. Can you please make a servo? <laughs> I mean, honestly, it doesn't matter if we don't meet someone straight away. Like, if we don't meet a servo straight away, because with how quick that was to build the relationship through Social Bunny, I can really, like, meet and then get pregnant in the same day with all of these occults. That's going to be so good. I just love seeing Lily's little baby bump. Her. We'll hang out. We've got time. We can hang out till 11 o'clock. We'll see if any servos get built by these two lovely ladies. We'll see what happens. I really have a feeling that we're not going to meet a servo tonight because this isn't the event that I was thinking of. I know that there's an event that happens during the day and it happens in this big clearing and there's like bots everywhere. So that was what I was thinking of was that event, not this event. Yeah, okay, I think it's not gonna happen, but I have just had a thought because I did just get a notification about Cupid's Corner. Can you get like bots on Cupid's Corner? I could check it out. Let's open Cupid's Corner. Let's see. I've never used Cupid's Corner before. This is gonna be interesting. You know what? I'm happy with that to be her profile photo. That's fine. Yes, I will use that to describe her. That's totally fine. Let's have a look at our matches though. Looking for matches. Oh, this is kind of exciting actually. I've never done this before. Oh, see, oh no, Addie is our sister. Addie's our sister. Oh no, <laughs> oh no. <laughs> okay, well, there was in fact no servo bots in there. Totally fine. Like, I don't know if you can even meet servo bots through Cupid's Corner. I have no idea. It was just worth a try. But with that being said, I think we're just going to go home. We're going to bring on tomorrow. Um, I'll come back tomorrow morning to see when the next bot savants meeting is. And maybe it'll be the one that meets out on the grounds. I don't know. We'll just have to wait and see. But with that being said, let's bring on Wednesday, getting a day closer to being able to have our spooky party and also a day closer to having the first baby of the occult baby challenge. Hey, did you know that 74% of you watching right now have not subscribed to my YouTube channel? If you'd like to see some fun Sims 4 build videos, some fun Sims 4 creator sim videos, some Sims 4 gameplay and a sprinkle of drama here and there, hit the subscribe button down below and join my wonderful little community. But with that being said, let's get back into the video. So things on the agenda for today, we're going to go back to the university and see what the next bot savant meeting is. And then I think we're just going to spend the rest of the day painting, honestly, trying to earn some more simoleons because 509 simoleons is not going to be enough to pay the bills that we're going to get next week. So yeah, going to need to make a little bit more money than that. <laughs> With that being said, I just really quickly want to mention the person who built the house that we're living in. It is a beautiful house and I gutted it to make it suit my needs, but the house itself is beautiful. So let me just show you the gallery listing for it. Here, it is the big legacy family home made by Sim Seller Bims. It's absolutely beautiful. So stunning. But here comes our girl in this gorgeous little goth galore outfit. I can't get over how cute her little baby bump looks in all of these outfits. Adorable. All right, we do also have the magic bin that earns money for everything that we put into it. So fantastic. That's going to be another way to help us make money. So with that being said, let's head back to Brightchester. Let's head back to Larry's Lagoon. I just really want a servo to be the next occult type that we have a baby with. <laughs> I just, that's what I want. Servo, next on my list. Thank you very much. Okay, so it looks like the next one is on Thursday, but it, it's just another robot building meetup. So it's not going to be what I'm looking for. So... On Friday, I can come back and see 
I, it may even be the weekend. The weekend would make sense because you don't have classes or anything at university on the weekend. So it might be a thing that has to happen next episode that we meet our servo and get pregnant with their baby all in the next episode. But with that being said, let's go home, Miss Lily. We've got lots of painting that we need to do today. So like I said, I know this episode's going to be super long, so I'm probably just going to speed through the day. We're just going to be painting. That's going to be it. And killing time until tomorrow, pretty much. The beginning of these challenges is always interesting because we're kind of just waiting for things to happen for things to get more interesting not that it's not interesting at the moment with Lily's first pregnancy but once we have kids involved then it becomes a, a matter of raising kids and other rules of the occult baby challenge will start to come into play it's fun but until that point Let's have our girl coming in to paint some paintings. Oh, Keanu's come over. Stepdad, best dad ever from the 100 Baby Challenge. He's come over because he has a gift for us. Well, let's go and invite him in, Miss Lily. Uh, she's been busy painting some paintings, as you can see. We are going to need to start selling some of them because uh, we've only got 16 simoleons left. So maybe after Mr. Keanu Reeves comes and gives us a gift. Hello, Keanu. How's it going? Thank you, Keanu. That's very sweet of you. I could almost even be like a congratulations on your pregnancy present. Oh, sweet. He gave us a would you believe stallion. Is that a little wooden sculpture? It is. Very cute. I can sell it for 20 simoleons though. Thank you. Sorry, Keanu. Very nice that you gave me a gift. We got a sentiment from that. A jam-tastic gift. Lillian remembers fondly receiving a gift from Keanu. She was in canned. That's very, very sweet. Oh, Lillian has learned more about Keanu and is now very attracted to him. No, 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 no. I need to change that. I need... Oh, God. No, you're not attracted to Keanu. That's your, that's your stepfather. Stop that. Stop it. Stop it. Stop it. Stop it. So I'm doing this through MC Command Center, add relationship with Lillian. I'm going to say that Lillian is Keanu's daughter. So hopefully they won't be freaking flirting anymore like they just were for a second because that's weird and very gross. And also don't be cheating on Jess Keanu. Anyway, on that note, I'm going to send Keanu home. I'm going to send you home. Thank you so much for the gift, but off you go. I'm going to go and sell my paintings. Thank you very much. Beautiful. So five more paintings, 346 simoleons for this one. And for this one, 315 simoleons. Beautiful. This one, 261 simoleons. We're nearly at the $1,000 mark. Fantastic. 302 simoleons for this one. Beautiful. And lucky last for today, we've got this one, 262 simoleons. Oh, and Lily, she's a notable newcomer. She's started down the path to stardom. I just love that all of the iconic matriarchs of the Platt family having stardom. Absolutely love that. Let's just see how far along Lily is though. She's third trimester in 19 hours. So it won't be tomorrow that we have the baby. It'll be on Friday that we have the baby. Very exciting. So now that she's a level one celebrity though, I'm going to get a perk. I want to do this one, the noticeable. There's just something about Lillian that makes her stand out from the crowd and makes other sims take notice. By honing this aspect of her personality, there's a chance that any single skill or career-based action from here on out may catch the public's attention, giving Lillian an extra boost of fame. I'm going to use that one and hope that with the paintings that she's going to paint that we're going to gain extra fame. I would love for her to be like a proper celebrity. Oh, wow. That one is so pretty. The little gnome. Love that. We're going to sell that one for 325. It's 835. She's still really well energized though. Considering she is second trimester pregnant, her energy levels are doing really, really well. I'm going to make the most of it. All right. This one's selling for 410. Yes. Good money. Good money. Love that. We're over 2,000 simoleons. We've done that in one day. That's why I decided to change my mind from the jewelry making to the painting because I knew we were going to make really good money from painting. I think after this painting, we're going to send her to bed though. This beautiful painting of this lady. This is like the Sims version of the Mona Lisa. Love that. Selling for 387 simoleons. Thank you so much, Lily. Gonna send you off to bed. So with that being said, let's bring on Thursday morning Harvest Fest. We're gonna have a spooky party. I'm so excited. Let's bring it on. The next morning. It's Harvest Fest. Who freaking ray. I've just realized I don't have the attic stack decoration box. I need to get that so that we can decorate our house. 
Look at that. Oh, so cute with the banners and the, the string lights. Oh, I love that. Oh, it's such a gloomy day, Oasis Springs. We're having thunderstorms today. No worries, no worries. Here's our iconic queen. Look at her tattoos through this top. I love it. Absolutely adore her. Okay, so I do want to do some more painting today to make some more money. But before we do that, I just want to prepare a couple of meals to take with us to our spooky party tonight. So we're going to cook a grand meal first because I always take a grand meal. So we'll have a turkey dinner, I reckon. Let's get that made. She really is one of those sims. It happens sometimes where you look at them from the front and you can't tell they're pregnant and then you look at them from the side and you go, oh yes, she is actually pregnant. But from the front doesn't look pregnant at all. <laughs> there we go, a beautiful turkey dinner ready to go for tonight's party. We can't do a pumpkin pie, so because we can't do a pumpkin pie because our cooking level isn't high enough, maybe we'll just do some spooky cookies. Let's do that. Oh, iconic. The spooky cookies are so cute, so I'm not even mad that we made them because would you look at them? We've got some jack-o'-lanterns, some bats, and some skulls. And with that being said, Lily, I reckon the time's come to come back and do some more painting, earn some more money, please. Once we have a baby, our time is going to be split between raising kids and then getting pregnant with the next baby. And we're not going to have as much time to do some painting. <gasps> Did you see that lightning strike? It looked like it happened really close, but I can't see where it struck. It looked like it was really close. Also, that one was really close. Hello? I see you. Are you going to strike all of my beautiful string lights? Please don't. I don't want to replace them. Anyway, hold on. I did mention in the 100 baby bonus video that I wasn't sure how this infinity pool worked. Look at it. Freaking iconic. It looks amazing. I love this house. <laughs> I love this house. I've loved every single house that the Platt family has lived in for different reasons, but this house is wow. It is luxury for the Platt family. Beautiful. Lovely painting. 393 simoleons for this one. Thank you. Oh, our brother's calling Dylan. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, is Dylan getting married? So I found a ring in Liberty's bag. Who's Liberty? Is that Liberty Lee? I don't know. I think she's gonna propose to me. I don't know what to do. What should I say? Yes, no, god, um, Dylan, yes, say yes. Oh my god, please, oh my god. You're right, of course I should say yes. What was I thinking? Oh my god, I can't believe this is happening. Does that mean they're married now? Hold on, Dylan, let me have a look at you. It doesn't say, it doesn't say. It doesn't even say that he's in a relationship. I don't know. Right, after this painting, we're going to need to start taking care of some needs and start thinking about the spooky party that we're going to have. Very, very exciting. Oh, and look at that. The sun has come out now. <laughs> Oasis Springs. You got to love the weather in Oasis Springs. Beautiful. This one sells for 404 simoleons. Let's get that sold and then you can come inside and use the bathroom, miss. All right, it's 3.30 at night. I'm just having a think. Uh, Miss Lily, as part of her aspiration, the painter extraordinaire, she needs to complete three emotional paintings. I think we're going to do a confident painting. And after this confident painting, we'll then go and have the Halloween party. I'm so excited. Beautiful. So that's one emotional painting done. 374 simoleons. Let's enable the emotional aura on that. And then we'll sell it to a collector. Beautiful. I'm just going to jump into create a sim really quickly because I have made Lillian a Halloween costume, but also I want to give a chance for those of you who aren't familiar with Lillian, who haven't watched the 100 Baby Challenge, a good look at her. Her first everyday outfit is this iconic dress from the Goth Galore kit. She has very pastel goth vibes, Lily. That's what I wanted for her. So we've got a lot of pink for her outfits in some more alternative styles, maybe not gothic. I'll branch out further and say alternative. So her second everyday outfit is this dress from high school years, again in the pink. Her third everyday wear outfit we have already seen is this goth galore kit top with this skirt that's made by Trillike. Absolutely love that. Her fourth everyday wear outfit is this goth galore leather jacket. Oh my goodness, look at that. That's that doesn't look very comfortable, but then again, these pants from the Urban Homage kit probably 
wouldn't be too comfortable to wear while heavily pregnant. Totally fine though. She still looks amazing. And for her last everyday wear outfit, we've got this goth galore outfit that she wore yesterday. I love the vibes. I think it's super cute. For her formal wear, we've got this amazing custom content dress made by Sentate. All of the blush pink tones I love for her. It comes with a set of matching gloves. It just looks absolutely incredible on Lily with her pregnant belly as well. Oh my goodness gracious. So then for her athletic wear, this is her athletic wear. Just something basic, not a lot happening. It does the job though. For her first sleepwear, we have seen this lingerie already. It looks absolutely gorgeous. I love the vibe. For her second sleepwear, we've got this robe. Very classic, very luxurious. For her third sleepwear, we've got this little nightgown that gives very feminine vibes to me. Beautiful. For her fourth sleepwear, we've got this lacy romper, which is also very cute. And for her last sleepwear, we've got this lacy nightgown that is the same collection as the romper. Just just in a nightgown. Love that vibe. For her party wear, we've got multiple options. This is the first one, a little dress covered in love hearts. It's kind of clipping with her pregnant belly kind of awkwardly. I'm actually thinking of deleting this outfit. It's cute, but we're going to be pregnant a lot and I don't like how it looks for Lily. So I think I'm going to delete it, meaning that this is now going to be her first party wear outfit. It looks much more comfortable than the last one did. It actually sits with her pregnant belly a whole lot nicer than the last one did. So I love that. And then her second party party wear we've got this corset that even though it's a corset also sits a lot better with her pregnant belly than that original dress did and then we've got her swimwear her swimwear we've got this beautiful custom content bikini that looks like kind of like bat wings on the hemming I love that for her hot weather wear her first hot weather wear we've got this gorgeous pink outfit the harness would probably be really uncomfortable to wear while pregnant but she looks absolutely amazing in it and her second hot weather wear is this goth galore kit outfit which we have seen before earlier in this episode for her cold weather wear we've got this is her first cold weather wear absolutely stunning in this jacket looks gorgeous and for her second cold weather wear we've got the goth galore kit trench coat it's very interesting we're heading back to her party wear though because i've dressed up for halloween right lillian is also going to be dressing up for the spooky party that we are about to throw so the costume i've decided to give her is this iconic fairy costume. I had to go with something occult, right? We don't have fairies in The Sims 4. This is as close as we're going to get to fairies in The Sims 4 for the time being. I'm not saying that fairies are never going to come. I hope that they will because that would be another occult type to add to the occult baby challenge. But I just love this fairy costume and Lily looks absolutely stunning in it with her pregnant belly. It's probably the most comfortable costume that I have for her to be wearing while heavily pregnant. So that's what she's going to wear to the spooky party with that big said let's go throw the Platt family annual Halloween party. I'm so excited. All right, so we are planning a social event. We're going to have a spooky party and we're going to be having the host be Lillian. Lovely. We're going to invite guests. We can invite 15 guests maximum. Once we get to the place we're going to have the party, I'll invite all of the other family over and whoever comes, comes. But these 15 people that I'm going to invite are going to be the ones that I want to see come in costume. This is probably going to be Jess's last Harvest Fest. I want to see her come in a costume. And then I'm just going to go through and pick a couple of random others. Maybe we'll also choose our sisters, Naomi and Isabel, because one thing I haven't mentioned is Lillian is actually the youngest of triplets. She has two sisters, Naomi and Isabel, so we'll see them come in costumes as well, I reckon. And now we're going to actually head to Glimmerbrook is where we're going to go, because if you had no idea, this place is my Halloween party place I specifically built to have spooky parties every Halloween. So this is where we're going to go to have our Halloween party. Let's do it. Oh, I'm so excited to have everyone come in costume. This is always one of my favorite things to do in The Sims 4 is have a spooky party with the Platt family. I love it. I'm so excited. But just having a freaking look at who we have here, Jess immediately is a witch. Look at this iconic lady. <laughs> She's a witch. I love that. Helena is a maid. She is like Bonehilda esque. Addie has come as like a Mad Max kind of lady. I love that. Who's in the Star Wars? We've got Mickey in the Star Wars. Who else is in the Star Wars? We've got Valerie in the Star Wars. Who else is in the Star Wars? Xander! That's Xander in there. That's amazing. 
Fang. And who is the ninja? Felix is the ninja. Oh, I absolutely love spooky parties. I'm going to get Lily to grab some dinner. And then while she's eating, I'm going to call some of the other kids of the Platt family to come over. Some of Lily's siblings. <gasps> Look, Scarlet's here and she's a, a fairy. Oh my goodness, fairy vibes, twinning fairy vibes. I love it. Who else is here? Oh my goodness, oh my goodness. We have got Thomas. He is a pirate. Who's the llama corn? Naomi is the llama corn. We have Isabel being Princess Leia. Oh my goodness. Who's the pizza delivery driver? Todd! Mr. Todd. Oh, wow. Who's the llama corn? Jewel is the llama corn. Oh. And because this place is an actual functional bar, we will have some other sims turn up like this lady. We don't know this lady. She is not a member of the Platt family, but she's here to have a good time. Oh, I didn't even see that Jasper's here as a zombie. Oh, I love that he's eating the spooky cookies. <laughs> Jess and Keanu Reeves are sitting underneath this tree and they're looking up at the sky. Oh, I love them. I didn't even know Keanu was here as an astronaut. Oh, look. That's so beautiful. Jess looks rather interesting without her iconic makeup, though. <gasps> Wait. <gasps> I was going to say, I recognize that waddle. I recognize this waddle. Scarlet is pregnant. Scarlet is pregnant. Oh, my God. Scarlet is pregnant. Lillian's going to have a niece or a nephew. <laughs> both pregnant oh wow i love seeing everyone sitting down and eating the food that we've made and then dancing over on the dance floor just hanging out talking the plat family super freaking iconic look at these two iconic pregnant fairies i can't believe scarlet is pregnant oh my god They're just so cute i love them We've nearly got a gold spooky party, by the way. I don't think we're going to. I'm just getting Lillian to carve a pumpkin so that she can view one. And hopefully that'll get us to gold. I don't think it will, though. We've never had a gold spooky party, though. Wouldn't it be iconic if we could have one? Okay, she's looking at the cat pumpkin that she carved. It's very, very cute. Please, the party's got 15 minutes. How long does it take to look at a pumpkin? Oh, we got a gold. We got a gold spooky party. Oh my God, just in freaking time because the spooky party is over. Oh my goodness gracious. Oh my God, our charisma levels. I've just gone up to level six. We got, <laughs> I can't believe it. A smashing bash, a fest of frights. Guests left gibbering in joy after the evening of mischief and delight. The household has been rewarded with a super llama costume that's perfect for the next party or perhaps for just wearing around the house. Wow. Love that. But with that being said, we are going to start having kids leave the lot because the party is over. So with that being said, a big goodbye to Thomas. Thank you for for coming we've got felix we've got jasper we've got helena and addy thank you for coming to xander for coming who is the star wars mickey that's right thank you mickey mr todd who's this llama corn is jewel thank you for coming we've still got some people hanging about jess and keanu are still hanging about here on the love seat i absolutely love and adore them they've just spent the entire night with themselves and that's just so beautiful they had such a wonderful love story and that's jess's last harvest fest and she's like you know what i've been here and done it all with my kids i just want to spend it with keanu <laughs> we do still have a couple of kids hanging around there scarlet is still here we still have naomi and isabel here as well xander has come back just to hang out out of his costume he took his Darth Maul costume off really quickly <laughs> but it's fine because the time has come for Miss Lily to go home now I cannot freaking believe that Scarlet is pregnant and having a baby though that is so exciting cousins at the same time they're gonna be like the same age that is so good but with that being said, we're going home now. Lillian is pretty tired. So let's bring on tomorrow. Tomorrow, we're having the first baby of the occult baby challenge. We are having the tragic clowns baby. Super exciting. The following day.
All right, it is three minutes past eight on Friday morning. Miss Lily is awake. Very excitingly, we are give birth in question mark, question mark, question mark. It will be later on today. I think it was around two or three o'clock in the afternoon that we managed to get pregnant. So it should be around then that we go into labor. Today, I'm going to go back to the university to see what's going on for the bots of Ants over the weekend. Before we do that, though, I'm just, it's Friday, so we can vote in neighborhood action plans. So if we have have a look like I said we already have free love enabled as part of the neighborhood action plans here but I want to be doing more neighborhood action plans that are not going to give us a fine we're not going to get fined for so I'm seeing here that support the performing arts is already in the lead and I think we're just going to continue that because we're not going to have any fines coming through on our bills for not doing performing arts like acting stuff that's totally fine so Lily has plenty of influence points thanks to her fame so I can use a lot of them to ensure that that is going to come through fantastic the ulti bot contest that's happening in three days it's happening on Sunday interesting interesting it's happening on Sunday that's okay though so on Sunday it means we're gonna be able to meet a bot and then work on a relationship with that bot and get pregnant with that bot on Sunday. Interesting. That's okay. Like I said, this challenge is a whole lot more relaxed than the 100 baby challenge. So we can take our time a little bit with this one. With that being said, Lily, let's go home. So if my calculations are correct, we should have at least four hours until we go into labor. That's plenty of time to paint painting, my girl. We are just waiting for this pacifier to flash. Wow, 466 for that one. Thank you so much. Um, we're not flashing yet. We are very confident. So I'm going to do another confident painting towards three emotional paintings for her aspiration. Oh my goodness, it didn't it didn't flash, but she's gone into labor. Lillian is bursting with anticipation to meet her bundle of joy. Lily, okay, no worries. We're going to go to the hospital. Will we take a Yaka Takahashi not dressed as the freaking tragic clown anymore? But she was the parent, so I'm going to take her because that's what I do. I always take the parents with us. Let's go and have this baby, Lily. The very first baby of the occult baby challenge. I am so freaking excited right now. I'm seeing a lot happening here. This is going to be our doctor. Who is our first doctor of the occult baby challenge? Dr. Chaniago. Dr. Joyo? Do Dr. Joyo is what I'm going to call you. Dr. Joyo with your iconic, <laughs> your iconic gray beard and <laughs> your iconic custom content hair. Wow, it's a choice. It's a choice. <laughs> anyway, I'm also seeing some choices here. <laughs> You've got to love townies in The Sims 4. Okay. It's all right, tragic clown. <laughs> it's all right. It's totally fine. Although Lily's probably freaking out a bit as well because she's not done this before, ever. <laughs> she's not ever done this. Just pretend that she's in the tragic clown outfit, please. <laughs> All right, with that being said, it is time, Miss Lily. It is time to go and check in at the front desk so that Dr. Joyo can come and deliver our baby. Such a Joyo. All right, hi. You might have my family name listed on here, Platt. Uh, we've been here many times to have babies. As a matter of fact, our legacy probably lives on in this hospital. They're like, oh, the Platt family? You're a VIP. Come right through. <laughs> Here we go. It's happening, Dr. Joyo. I am excited. So at this stage, I think we're only going to have one baby. Is it going to be a boy or a girl, though? I have absolutely no idea. I haven't enabled the uh, lot trait that lets you have twins or triplets at the moment because we don't need to for this child. There will be times where I will need to have twins. That will be coming up further on, though. So Lily has found out that Joyo is a medical intern at Cut and Gut Health. I don't know how I feel about the name of this hospital. Cut and Gut? Well, technically it's true. We're about to be cut with the laser and they're going to gut us by removing the baby from Lily's gut right now. Oh, that's her heart. Please put it back inside. Please? Oh my goodness, Dr. Joyo. I think you've got a little bit to learn. You've got a little bit to learn. He's a medical intern after all. It's totally fine. Everyone's got to learn, right? Everyone has to learn. <gasps> It's a boy! Freaking iconic. Honestly, I wasn't phased either way whether this was a boy or a girl because I already know what I've wanted to name this child and this child's name is very unisex. So we had the tragic clown's baby, right? Because we didn't have Sunny the tragic clown in The Sims 4, our child is going to be Sunny. Sunny Platt. 
Child of the Tragic Clown, yay! Welcome to the Platt family, Sunny! Wow, the first baby of the occult baby challenge is born. With that being said, Lily, let's go home. Let's take care of Sunny. All right, so here we are at home. Miss Lily, how iconic. Oh my gosh, look, little Sunny. Oh, what a little cutie pie, Mr. Sunny. Welcome to the Platt family. I really think that uh, Scarlet is going to be giving birth soon. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. It's because she's married. Oh my God. <laughs> I just wanted to have a look at Scarlet because, oh my God, <laughs> this is crazy. At the beginning of this episode, I mentioned the neighborhood stories and I had the romantic changes on. I've actually just turned them off because while I love that this is happening, this is a little bit too chaotic for my challenge. I just don't quite want to be having too many more kids aside from the occult baby challenge kids to be born in this challenge. It's an awful thing to say. I will love Scarlet's child forever. The fact that Scarlet is married to Simeon Silver Sweater. I have no idea who Simeon Silver Sweater is. I kind of just want to go through and see if anyone else is married. I mean, we know that Xander is to Jasper, but that's going to be changing. <gasps> Tabitha is married to Michael Bell from Cottage Living. Oh, well, that's kind of iconic, Tabby. <gasps> Addie is married to Christopher Volkov, the werewolf. Oh, oh, that's an interesting choice. Oh, I wouldn't have picked that for Addie. I don't know. Interesting. That's just wow. Addie, you go, girl. <laughs> this is, wow. Evan. Oh, no. Oh, Evan. No, 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 no. <laughs> Evan got married to Katrina Caliente. Oh, no. Evan, what have you gotten yourself into? Okay, we're having another thing where it says Eliza is married to Xander. But Xander said that he was married to Jasper. I just need to change the spouses. I need, I will change that. I promise you next episode that's going to be all sorted. <laughs> oh, Vincent got married to this lady, Mila. I don't know who she is. I've seen her around, but I don't remember what, like, what family she was a part of. What is her maiden name? I have no idea. Let me know in the comments down below. But they got married. Vincent, congratulations. Wait, no, 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 Dylan, 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 met Dylan, <laughs> I can't even speak. I'm so stunned that I can't even speak. Dylan, you literally called us and said that Liberty had a ring in her bag. So why are you married to Judith Ward? <laughs> Do you see why I had to turn that romantic changes neighborhood story option off? Because, oh my god! What do you mean you married Judith Ward? Maybe Liberty is Judith Ward's proper name and Judith Ward was her stage name. Jeez Louise, wouldn't be the Platt family if we didn't have some freaking chaos. So I am just wondering though if there's going to be any other 100 baby kids. I mean, we saw that Scarlet was pregnant. We didn't see Tabby though. I kind of want to load into or at least visit where Tabby lives and just see. So if you had no idea, all of the kids from my 100 baby challenge are these kids that I'm talking about. They're Lillian's siblings. They all live in San Myshuno. We've got multiple apartments that the Platt family owns in San Myshuno. Um, this one doesn't have Tabby and this one also doesn't have Tabby. Why is this one so empty? Did they move out? No, they did not. <gasps> oh my god, Scarlet had the baby! Scarlet had the baby! Scarlet had the baby! I Scarlet had the baby! Oh my god! This is freaking wild! Absolutely crazy! Oh, so that's Simeon Silverwater. Okay, so this this gentleman is Simeon Silverwater, married Scarlet. Okay, Silver Sweater! Oh, sorry, I'm so sorry. I was saying his name wrong the entire time. Simeon Silver Sweater? I'm so sorry. I need to knock on this door. I need to see what your baby's name is and who your baby is. Scarlet, I want to see your baby. Well, congratulations. <gasps> There's the child. I see the child. I see the child. Oh my goodness. What is this child's name? Why can I not see the child's name? Why can I not see the child's name? What is the child's name? Dylan. Here's another boy, Dylan Silver Sweater. Oh, cute. Okay, well, I'm very happy to see. <laughs> I'm very happy to see that Judith Ward has not had a baby with Dylan. It's fine. And Tabitha has not had a baby with Michael Bell, okay? 
I think that was all I needed to worry about. Dylan, oh my gosh, welcome to the family, baby Dylan Silver Sweater. Very, very cute. So I'm gonna have to keep an eye on Dylan. Around the times that we'll be aging Sunny up, uh, we should then also be seeing Dylan age up as well because I do wanna treat Dylan very much like I treated Christian in the 100 Baby Challenge. I just want to make sure, because I couldn't find where Tabby lives, I'm just going to call her over and I just want to make sure that she's not pregnant. <laughs> I just want to make sure. I mean, if she is happy days, I'll be stoked, but I just want to see. She's not pregnant. Tabby is not pregnant. Okay, no worries. So only one extra child. It's fine. It's all good. Oh my God, we've got swans? We've got swans in our pond. I knew that we had a like a VFX thing in there. I just didn't know what it was. And it's swans. Oh, that's beautiful. Oh, wow. I'm so surprised. With that being said, you guys, that's all I've got for this episode, the very first episode of the Occult Baby Challenge. I am already so in. I'm so invested already. I hope you guys are too, because in true typical Platt family fashion, they brought the chaos for me immediately this episode. If you'd like to see more of me, more of the Occult Baby Challenge, or any other Sims content that I've got coming your way, hit the subscribe button down below and hit the notification bell next to it to be notified of every time that I upload. And if you like to this video let me know by hitting the like button down below and leave me a comment as well but guys i hope you're having the spookiest day ever and i will see you in the next video bye